sky, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. And I am talking about an over the top beautiful fall day here in paradise. Uh, it is the last day of September. Good lord, we are wrapping up three quarters of 2023 today. It is Saturday, September 30th, 2023 in the Finger Lakes of New York. And I tell you what, guys, uh, <laughs> you see this weather forecast for the next week. I guess it's going to be 81 degrees they're saying on Tuesday, 81 degrees in Ithaca, New York in October. Uh, so here's how I am uh, enjoying this gorgeous day while well, I'm making the best of it. So, you know, I am getting sucked down the, uh, what do you call it? The American medical system sewer pipe that I assiduously try to avoid in my life over this goddamn thing with my ears that I'm dealing with uh, trying to keep from going deaf here at age 64 so uh, I've already made two trips to the Ithaca <coughs> Free Clinic trying to get this taken care of. The first doctor prescribed me amoxicillin, that uh, antibiotic amoxicillin for this ear shit. And uh, so I took, what was it, 1,750 milligrams of amoxicillin every day for a week had exactly zero effect on this and the, I'm thinking the reason that amoxicillin had zero effect as I told the goddamn doctor is that this is not bacterial what is going on in my fucking ears it is fungal that I've had this shit down in my ears for over two years and it's just now worked its way, you know, down to my eardrums. It's taken two fucking years to work its way down into my eardrums, unless this is something even more horrible in that that goddamn mold attack that I had a couple of months ago, that uh, this has something to do with that. Uh, but anyway, guys, this is a fucking drag. So the amoxicillin did absolutely nothing. So I go back to the clinic since I gave that a week. And so the second doctor uh, looks in my ears and is appropriately grossed out uh, by this uh, shit in my ears. And so he's trying to get me in to see an ENT. I have got to get in to see uh, an ENT specialist. But in the meantime, while he's trying to line that up for me, uh, so he kind of agrees with me that if, the, if it's not responding to amoxicillin, you might be correct that it is fungal and, and I told him that uh, over the past two years I have tried every possible over-the-counter antifungal and it has and it hasn't done a goddamn thing that every goddamn over-the-counter so I need to go to a some sort of prescription so he writes out this prescription this was on thursday it is now saturday writes out this goddamn prescription calls it in to cvs pharmacy on thursday so uh 
I get up, I drive all the fucking way into Ithaca, New York to go to goddamn CVS to pick up this prescription antifungal and they tell me it's not ready yet because they don't have my insurance information. And I said, I don't have any fucking insurance. Is that the information you were looking for? And they said, oh, you don't have insurance. I said, no, I'm giving you cash money for this. And I said, so how much is this, uh, are these eardrops going to be? Oh, so I I anyway, meant, so meant to tell you, so when the, when the doctor was prescribing the antifungal, uh, first he wrote out a prescription for a, uh, some sort of cream and told me, you, you know, just put it on a Q-tip and uh, lightly it apply inside my ear canal. And then he uh, tore that up and gave me this prescription for some sort of liquid, you know, that I put in an eardropper, which would make more sense for my ears than the cream. So uh, it, it, anyway, so it was the liquid that I w was picking up because it would be better in my ears than the cream. So I go there and I say, okay, I don't have insurance. I'm paying you cash money. And I said, how much do I owe you? And uh, they tell me $75. 75 fucking dollars for this little bottle of eardrops. And I said, 75 fucking dollars? I said, you can tear up this goddamn prescription. So I said, what is it? that he prescribed and the pharmacist says it is clotrimazole clotrimazole one percent uh antifungal and, and i said you're fucking kidding me uh, i i i said isn't that uh it isn't clotrimazole for uh isn't that Tenactin for, isn't that like jock itch cream? And uh, they, they said, yeah, that's what it is. And I said, well, can I buy the shit over the counter? And they said, well, you can buy the cream over the counter, but you don't want to put that in your ears. Well, the fucking doctor uh, was, was all set to prescribe me the goddamn cream anyway. And uh, going to a garage sale here, and I said the the, the fucking doctor w was uh, getting ready to prescribe me the goddamn cream, and the pharmacist said well, you don't want to put this in your ears, and I said what's the difference? Uh, clotrimazole is clotrimazole, and he goes well I wouldn't put it in my ears, sir, so. Uh, we go over there, and he hands me this shit off the shelf, which is, uh, you know, it's it, it, it's fucking jock itch cream is, is what it is. It's goddamn jock itch cream. And, and I've already uh, been through a tube of this shit probably two years ago over this damn ear thing. Uh, I, I've tried every goddamn over-the-counter ten fucking dollars uh, for this jock itch cream that the, the doctor was ready to prescribe me and now the pharmacist is telling me do not stick this in your ear you know I mean you know I've been down this fucking medical system rabbit hole for two weeks now and I've and I've had a fucking enough of it and uh, now I'm just hoping that uh, they can uh, get me into an ENT before I leave here a month from tomorrow. Uh, you know, 
know, they, these fucking doctors, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Meanwhile, I'm going goddamn deaf. But uh, right now, I need to go to a garage sale and buy some more stuff while I still can. Bye, guys.